You're listening to Embrace Your Snake, the number one podcast for musicians, creatives, and entrepreneurs who have big ideas and need just a little bit of help to get them out into the world. I'm your host, Michael Jackson, and today we're going to talk about living and what's on your bucket list. So here are some things that have happened over the past few days. One person I know has a family member that um, fell and broke their wrist pretty badly. So it's not just broken, it's actually crushed. Uh, they also had, you know, some other medical problems within a week. And then a week later had some other medical problems. That's one thing that happened. Uh, for me, in my life, uh, my mom is in the hospital. You know, she's got some problems and she's in the hospital and that's happened. Um I know another friend of mine who literally uh, this morning uh, woke up and had a friend who was in a car accident and the car flipped over a couple of times. Fortunately, the person in the car was okay and, you know, they're going to continue with their lives. Um, My brother uh, just called me up a few days ago and has a friend who was out playing golf and um, uh, complained at the end of the golf round that, you know, it didn't feel well, had a heart attack and... Uh, in a couple of days, they're basically going to be harvesting his organs for o- organ donorship. So this got me thinking. It's like all of these things happened just around me. You know, people were okay one moment, and then the next moment, they're not okay. They're dead, or they're in the hospital, or you might not ever see them again. And I got to thinking, it's like we on this planet as the humans that we are, have the ability to to decide what we want to do. Maybe one of the greatest gifts that we have, and also maybe one of the biggest, I don't want to say negatives, but one of the biggest, um, it's, a, it's like a weight on us that we have, is that we know that there might not be a tomorrow. Whereas, you know, My dog doesn't necessarily know that there's a tomorrow. He doesn't even know that there's like a next hour. He just exists in the moment. Uh, Doesn't have that concept of time, but we are kind of burdened with that concept. So what I think a lot of us have done, and I'm, if we put together these lists of things that we want to do in the future, we put together our bucket list of things where we say, you know what, when I am 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 or retired, I'm going to do this thing that I want to do before I die. And I got to thinking about this concept of the bucket list. And I think the bucket list just might be a bunch of crap. Not because the things on the bucket list aren't worth doing. No, they are totally worth doing, but they are worth doing now. You don't have to wait to do this. And the reason I say that is because, um, as I wax philosophic today, is that our lives are to be lived. They're not to be dealt with in servitude to a job or to a boss or to, you know, all these other things around us to demand our time that say, you need to do this now. And when you get done doing what I think you need to do, then you have my permission to go out and take a little bit of time to yourself. That is completely wrong. That is absolutely the wrong way to think about it. And here's how I'm going to suggest that we all think about this. The journey, and I've heard this so many times, the journey is the dream. We are, if if you have a dream that you want to live, how you get to that dream and that journey of getting to where you want to be is what's important in life. Getting to the goal, that's great. But what what happens once you get there? It's like, oh, I got the new car. All of us have had maybe a new car or a new house or we've got this new watch we wanted or this new thing. But once you get it, what happens? You want something else because that wasn't, that's not enough. You get used to it. You know, you get used to driving around in the Honda, then into the Lexus and then into the nicer car and the nicer car. And you go like, well, is that all there is? Whereas the real fun in it all is how do you get it in the first place? That is what life is about, is doing the things to get to where you think you want to be. And along the way, we hope that we get to help some others. And by helping others, we help ourselves and it makes us all feel better and we all grow together. 
I just want to say again, the journey is the way. It is not the destination. And it just struck me today so hard that that is really why we do things. I, you know, so what? You have, let's say I want to have a hit single on the radio. Okay, I got the hit single. But you know what was really important? Finding my manager, making the friends, playing the music in all the different stadiums that I got to, finding a record producer, all of those things that got me to, wham, I got the hit single. You know, or for me with the photography, if I want to shoot um, in different locations around the world, the real journey is how do I get from where I am now to being able to jump in my Xterra and driving to the edge of the Grand Canyon and shooting an amazing photo shoot right on the edge of the Grand Canyon. That's the journey, because once I've done that shoot, maybe people like it, maybe they don't. But it's the journey of getting to the Grand Canyon and doing that shoot, going to Dubai and doing a shoot shooting under the Eiffel Tower, shooting, you know, what if we could go to the moon and shoot? I think that would be awesome. So take those journeys and embrace them, guys. It's not about getting there. It's about, I mean, it's not about being there. It's about actually how do you get there and what do you live along the way, you know? It's not just about, oh, I'm a, um, I'm a this, and so I, I stop, and when I get done being this, I will have gotten to my um, to my ultimate goal. Live the goal right now. Your life is the goal. I hope that I'm getting that across. I see it, and I wish I could explain it even better than what I'm trying to get out right now. But just remember this. The things that you do right now are the goal for where you think you want to be tomorrow. So live it. Look at it and go like, Wow, I am living my dream. I am in my own dream and I have choices that I can make. If I don't like this part of the dream, I can change it. You just have to make a decision. You have to decide, cut off what you're doing and go a different direction. But be present in where you are at this second to get to where you think you want to be. And then you still continue on to the next dream. That's all I've got to say for today. And I hope that all makes sense. That's it, guys. You're in your own dream. Look around you, see what's there, embrace it, and live the way that you want to live now. You don't have to wait for retirement. You don't have to wait to be given permission. You don't have to wait at all. Take what you have and embrace it. If there's something that you want, go for it now. If there's somebody that you go like, gosh, I wish I could meet this person, find a way to do it now. Don't wait. Just do it. Thank you, Nike. I appreciate that saying. Just do it, guys. This is Michael Jackson. Peace.